Hey there, Shingi here from journeyless.com. So I just finished working on a web development project with the newbie guys and this project needed some CSV import and export functionality. It's an online shop with WooCommerce as its e-commerce platform and I thought maybe this might be useful to other people, other developers. Maybe you have a non-tech founder who wants to take control of that aspect of their platform. They want to have the ability to import their products in bulk, export and keep an outside record of the shop. Maybe to use in their other systems that use CSV as well. So I decided to go with two main plugins. The first one for importing is All Import. Now this plugin is very nice and it's intuitive. It's got clear steps and progress. It's a premium plugin, so if you are working with clients and they need to take over that, it's great for non-technical people. Which is part of what we do here at Journalist, providing tech resources suited for non-techies. Now, the next one is WooCommerce add-on, which is Store Exporter, and this will be used for exporting our files. It's a one-click solution that has the defaults already selected for you and you have many other choices to choose from. Why didn't I use one plugin instead of the two, you might ask? Well, look, I tried that. And I tried it with WooCommerce, but it's not intuitive when it comes to exporting, uh, sorry, importing. So after searching and looking around at the market, I found all import instead and it's great for this purpose and with that said let's go ahead and begin so go to WooCommerce and store export so you've installed the plugin and this is what you get now if we go to export we see the export types. Uh, you've got products, you've got categories, you've got tags, um, but we want products. And then we have all these options, depending on what kind of inventory you have. And then we export that. So this is our CSV file and these are our products, there is a total of 14 of them and you can see all these categories go hand in hand with the um, WooCommerce. So what we're going to do is we're going to import this into our site again and just to show you how easy it is to go through this. So scroll down to where you will find, actually before that let's go to products because there's already products there if you remember we exported them so we we'll want to get rid of all these products here and then begin afresh there we go and let's go to the trash can as well and just get rid of those in there Boom, okay. So we have zero products and what we want to do now is scroll down to all import and new import and then upload a file, scroll to your CSV, the one we exported, open that. Now we want to specify that this is a WooCommerce product, not a post or a page. So scroll down to WooCommerce products and then continue to step two. Great, as you can see, 14 rows will be imported. That means 14 products because each row is a product. And this is a sample of what the product looks like, what 
information is contained within one product and then this is the other product and then when we go to the next step we are given this uh, this form we need to fill in the title the content pricing etc so grab that post title and put it in there grab your description place it in there add your excerpt and depending on, on your information you can interchange these two now scroll down and go to WooCommerce add-on forget about advanced options you don't need that and then what we need to do here is look for the regular price and then we want to place that price into there that handover and the sales price as well and then scroll down go to images and then use images from the media library and just these options you can play around with they're pretty self-explanatory um, now scroll down if you can yes featured image now SEO leave that for now we don't need it custom fields we don't need that either what we want is taxonomies categories and tags okay so we have categories and we want to drag the little handlebar or piece of code into there for the category and then for the product tags as well so this is what I meant by it's really intuitive and you can just drag and drop things you know um, it's very easy to get used to you really want to look into this if you want to place draft instead of post them after you just imported them and published them so all these other ones forget about them you just need um, you just need taxonomies tags um, forget about custom fields have your images there especially if you're exporting and then uh, you need your WooCommerce add-on and you should be good to go so continue to step four And then just auto detect and then continue these are other options you can play around with as well what you want your post to do um, delete old posts etc you can even leave it blank for now it, the, uh, the upload the, the import will still work okay there we go so now everything is confirmed let us run our import script okay. complete brilliant now let's take a look at our product see if our import has actually worked there we go those are our products everything is there um, everything seems, seems to be in order yep. categories are there price is there let's have a look at it let's preview it and see what it looks like this one didn't have an image on it so it comes out blank but the other ones have their images there perfect uh, everything is there product description yeah so that's how you import and export in WordPress specifically if you want to give this to the company or your client whoever you're doing it for it's a the import is a very intuitive way of, of handling such technical stuff 
and then the export is just your basic one click and the defaults are there for you so I hope this works uh, well for you and if you like the video please throw me a like and subscribe um, more videos to come more courses check out um, my other course which is the other video and see you soon